Hi, my name is Jonas Weiberg. I'm working for Ericsson. We are here at Telematics Update 2011 to showcase the managed vehicle application store. For this, we have uh, two scenarios that we showcase. One is the back end, where the uh, automotive industry then uh, source applications, manage relationship with content providers, and then uh, feed it out to the uh, clients uh, that we also have a showcase. So if we switch over to the screen here, we should see the uh, ecosystem that we're talking about where we have OEMs, the car manufacturers, uh, creating cars. We have dealers that are part of this ecosystem because they are basically the ones that sells the cars. We have the drivers and we also have the, the, uh, the content providers. And they all kind of come together in a service portal um, to distribute and uh, to the apps. So I'm switching over to the uh, management interface for such a solution and where we find uh, some tools. This is then run by the OEM. Um, it's a tool set where they create product bundles where the uh, op uh, end users can go in and purchase um, products, um, bundles of products and bundles of applications uh, for targeted pricing. Um, we also manage the relationship here between the content and service providers and the OEMs. So uh, predominantly what we show here is an example of an app store. Uh, in this system, we upload apps to the, uh, to, the, uh, to the system. So the apps are stored here. And then the concept is that the user then in the car uh, discover these apps using a client. And if we switch over to the small client that we have here, this is an example of how such a client can look like. And this device is then a built-in device in the car where we have the different categories and we can discover the apps. Now, since we are targeting end users and not uh, really the car itself, we can actually say that, okay, you are such a user Therefore, you will get this application for free. So we're talking about targeted product offers and targeted pricing here. Now, not only do we do apps here, we consider this screen to be a complete new market channel for the OEMs as well as the uh, car dealers. So what the system can actually do is to be able to create microsites that are updated on a frequent basis and then fed out to the client. So if we switch over to the main screen again, we will see um, a, another tool in the tool set. It's called the producer tool. It's a Visivig tool. What you see is what you get. And here we create uh, microsites, banner landing pages, etc. that um, using a drag and drop functionality. And this, so the OEM owns this system, but they can let dealers come in and publish their content to their users. I mean, people that buy the car from their dealer can get information from that dealer. New winter tires, for example, when winter's coming up. So this kind of information is then fed also to this little screen, the small screen that we have, under, under the news category so that the, the consumer can actually read what the OEM or the car dealer is pushing. So it's, all, it's an app store, but it's also a new marketing channel for, for the OEMs and the, then the dealers. Now, this is built into the car, and if we switch over to the main screen, we have an example of how the portal should, could look like on the web. So this is an example of the App Store for the o, from the OEM on the web, where the consumer can actually find and discover the apps, buy them, and they are then synchronized down into the client. So to summarize, this is a complete end-to-end -end solution where we source applications and content from service and content providers. We make it available for end users to find and discover both in the client in the car as well as on the web. Uh, and we can do targeted advertisement, targeted product offers, targeted pricing, and also opening up this extremely new and, and uh, valuable marketing channel for the car dealers and the OEMs.